pastry comes in many forms. And if you want to make my chicken pot pie, I'll teach you how to make it using a flaky, crunchy, delicious pastry. Now let's get baking. Now I'm using a very simple cheats puff pastry as a lid. This is easier than you think. My students are friends Steph and Amy who find making pies tricky but want to master the art of perfect pastry. Rebecca bakes cakes but never pastry and her husband Paul only cooks convenience foods. Not anymore. We are making a proper pie from scratch. Over here I've got plain flour to which I'm going to rub in some butter. Now have you ever made puff pastry before? Never. 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 I've always just bought it. Well, that's fair enough, you know. I, know. I know a few people in very lofty positions also buy it. You know who I'm talking about, don't you? <laughs> now, this is Cheats Puff Pastry. So what I'm doing at the moment, so I'm basically just rubbing in the butter into the flour. I'm going to make a basic pastry to which I'm going to actually fold in grated frozen butter. Mm. Now, the science behind puff pastry, do you know how it, how it rises? Or why it rises. Is it the layers? Is it this way you fold it in three ways and yes. turn it and rest it and keep... Well, that's why, you know, it rises. But the actual reason why it rises is because the butter melts in the layers. And then once the butter melts, it creates steam. The steam then pushes the layers apart and that's why you get a flaky pastry. So first rub in the cube butter. Add salt and a bit of ice cold water and spin around to help it combine. Then add the rest of the water and slowly bring the dough together. So in a short crust pastry, there's the same ingredients, but it looks different, it feels different. Why, why is... It's the same ingredients, but different proportions. Oh, I see. So, you know, I mean, to be honest, most bread recipes are the same, but it's the different proportions that make it different, you know. You can see it starts to come together now. It's great for your hands and your arms. It's a real workhouse. I'll bring out a video next year. <laughs> OK. Exercise. It's all arms, though. It's all arms. Just like you get this far. It's just all arms. Roll out the dough. And now we're going to add the layer of butter. I've frozen the butter so it grates easily and keeps cold. I'm just getting this butter, covering roughly three quarters of the way up. You fold over one third, and then you fold over another third. Flatten that down again. Square it off, make it into a rectangle, and then roll that out again. A little bit of flour. Okay. Is it true that you need to have really cold hands to deal with pastry? That's an old wives' tale. No, it doesn't make any difference. Right. I've got hot hands, you know. Yeah, the, it's the speed in which you do it. If you play with the dough too much, it will heat up and it will go like rubber. So the whole idea is to be as quick as you can. Add another layer of butter to puff up in the oven. Again, this butter is frozen and it's folded by thirds. Keep the pastry cold, wrap it, and then chill it. I'm gonna pop that in the fridge. Okay, now we've made the pastry, now we're down to the filling. This is chicken and leek, a classic. In my pan, I've just cooked some leeks in butter over a low heat. And what I'm gonna do is add some flour to this. Now the flour will be the thickener. Now while this is beginning to cook out, over here I have my chicken. I've poached the chicken in stock, vegetables and herbs, and I've cooled it down in its juices. Have you used all bits of the chicken, is it? It's a thigh. Thigh. I've used a thigh. Is there a reason why you've used a thigh? It's a good bit of meat. It's nice and tender and it goes beautifully inside. All the liquor that's left, you don't want to waste that, because that'll go back into the blue over here with the leeks. So I'm just going to sieve this into the strainer over here. White wine and the strained stock will thicken in the leeks as the flour cooks out a bit. And then we're going to throw a good handful of spinach. That will wilt down inside. Next, some cream, frozen peas and a touch of seasoning. Salt, white pepper. I think white pepper really adds to this as well, again, on flavour. Give it all a stir through and allow it to cool down. Then add your shredded chicken. So the filling is ready. That's going to go into a container, into the fridge and chill down. And the main reason being is, if I put that hot filling into a pie and then throw a lid on it, because it's a puff pastry, it's got lots of butter in it, the heat from there will hit that and it'll end up like a soggy mess on the top. So you want a chilled filling with a cold top, so you're going to take it straight from the fridge onto the top of the pot pie and in the oven. And it's that change from cold to hot that makes the cheats puff pastry work. It's that instant 
and that's what gives you the flake. You break through the flake and hit that gorgeous chicken and leek pie. Assembling these little pies is very easy. I reckon all of my students should give it a go. First of all, you need to take a little bit of the pastry off the end. Why, do you ask? Well, the main reason being is because it's going to form the rim on the top where the lid binds to. Don't worry about keeping the layers in this bit. Flatten and roll it. Now, once you've got your pastry like this, start in the middle and just push it down onto the rim of the dish and then just run it round all the way around the edge of the dish itself. And why can't you just directly stick the lid to the edge? Don't forget, this is a, this is a puff pastry. Yeah. So it'll want to rise uh. and it needs something to bind to. And this is the easiest option of doing it. Fill the pie dish with the chilled filling. So what you want to end up with is your filling in there, just slightly domed. You get your egg wash and then just lightly run it round there all the way and there's your glue for the lid to go on. Keep the pastry lid in one piece so the layers stay nice and flat as you roll it out. So there we have our lid, place that over to the top and then force it down onto the rim of the dish and give it a bit of pressure all the way around. Trim off the excess with a good sharp knife so the layers can cleanly separate in the oven. Just put a little hole in the top, allow the steam to come out. You can leave it plain or you can crimp it. This is my mum's pie crimping technique, but you can use a fork around the edge instead. A little bit of egg wash. Now these are gonna go in the oven 200 degrees for about 35 minutes and they'll come out beautiful and golden brown and delicious. Here we have it. Beautiful chicken and leek pies. What do you think? Yeah, much yeah, nice. Yeah. Nice. yeah, you can see all the uh, all the layers, can't yeah. you? Yeah. But please tuck in. Get a fork in there. Too good to eat. You don't have to dig very far down. And there's your gorgeous oh, that's delicious. leek and chicken filling with that again that buttery, flaky pastry. Mm -hmm. So do you think you'll make this sort of pastry again? I think it works really well with chicken in mm. this sort yeah. of... Yeah, thing. you buy it and then if you realise how easy it actually is to make. Mm. I'd say that was one portion, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> you could sit there with a fork and really, you will eat all that pie. <laughs> and I really encourage you to make one of these pies, especially with a cheats puff pastry. That flakiness that it brings to that pie is delicious. Married with the chicken and leek filling, it is absolutely divine. So you have no excuse, get baking. <laughs>